So we got to find this guy who just so happened is right over here and is in our area who will hopefully sell us a ticket that is not fake. I'm surprised you recognize me as a ticket seller. Those clothes. Are you with Huddy? I suppose finding information like this is all in a day's work for someone like you. But those preview tickets are rare and they don't come cheap. Must be really expensive. What can we do? Ask him if he's got a list of people who have bought preview tickets from him. Sure. Information on my customers? Of course I have info. Most of them are regulars. Now I see what you're thinking. You want to track them down and try to negotiate with them for a ticket. That wouldn't be good for business. Sorry, I can't give out information on my customers. Yeah, it's honestly completely fair. And hacking won't work either. I write everything down on paper and carry it around with me. This guy has thought of it all. Just to prevent hackers like you from getting at it. Good old-fashioned pen and paper is the most secure way of storing information these days. You're not wrong. It's nothing personal, just business. I'm not even mad. That's completely reasonable. How much does it cost for me to get a ticket from you, though? Only keeping paper records. He's careful. Just as he said, I was hoping we could negotiate with one of his customers. Do you think you could distract him for a moment? Oh, no. He had a bag near his feet. That must be where he keeps the paper with his customer information. Oh, so we're just going to be like normal thieves now. Don't worry, I won't steal it. No, you're just going to borrow it and read it and then put it back, right? I'm not too sure about this, but I'll do as she asked. Here goes. <laughs> I hate both of these people. Mr. Navit? Really? A photo of him might be worth a lot. Where is he? Run. Wait a minute, this guy had his bag sitting at his feet, but when he ran off somewhere, he didn't instinctually pick up his bag? Now's my chance. Excuse me? This must be the customer list. Done. I, I bet with her, like, internet server, whatever, mind thing, she has a photographic memory, so she just had to look at it. Nah, he wasn't there. Was someone messing with me? I don't know. It worked. I memorized the whole list. Yep. Figured. Ormon told you, right? My brain is connected to the Eden server. Once I acquire visual information, it gets converted to data. There were only a few dozen names and some contact details for each one. It wasn't hard. Yeah, that's fair. It's like having a photographic memory. That's not crazy. I mean, the way that she has a photographic memory is crazy, but the fact that something like that exists is not crazy. One of the customers is a hacker who owes my brother a favor. How convenient. He's with the dinosaurs. Didn't I, like, beat the stuffing out of them one time? If you talk to him, he might let you have a ticket. Their territory is on Kowloon level 2. Go and check it out. Got it. I'm tired. I'll wait for you back at Huddy, and I'm so thirsty. All right, I'll see you later. The hacker with the ticket is on Kowloon level 2. I'll go and see if he'll let me have one. Let's do it. To Kowloon level 2 we go. Eden. Log in. Do, 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 do. Pretty certain. The, the dinosaurs were the ones who were working with Mephisto, right? I think they were. Oh, hey, Ryuji is here. Fancy seeing you here. Are you on a case? I am. A ticket for the Eden preview. What a coincidence. I'm on the same case for a different client. Oh, no. Don't waste time chatting. Go and find my ticket. Oh, no, wait, dude. We can, like, this can work out together. This is the kid who's working them. Be quiet. I'm working for free here, kid. You should show some gratitude. Oh, I love Ryuji. Sock him in the face, Ryuji. Do it. This kid hired me to get a preview ticket. He really wants one for his little sister. How convenient I am working for his little sister. Like, we can actually all come together. Huh? You know that his sister's named Mina? How do you know that? Why would I say that instead of just saying I'm working for his little sister? I see. It looks like we have the same goal. So, she's trying to get a ticket by herself? Pretty smart. Then you don't need to bother with my case. Are you giving up? If you both find a ticket, we'll end up with an extra one. Ah, I can't believe I let her manipulate me like this. She's so stubborn and she doesn't listen to a word I say. But she never gives up, I'll admit that much. She just gets on my nerves. That's fair. But didn't you hire me because you want to make her happy? Well, they're still siblings, dude. Although I don't have that kind of a relationship with my sibling. Me and my sibling kind of just, like, ignore each other or don't like each other. Once I take a case, I see it through to the end. I'll get you that ticket. You can use the extra one. Go with her and look after her. That's a big brother's job, right? I guess so. Then it's settled. Ryuji, why have you just made this more complicated to us for no reason? I've only just taken this case. I was just about to get to work. Have you got any ideas? Apparently, there's someone who has a ticket that you're friends with. I see. Asking one of the dinosaurist hackers. That sounds promising. I'll go with you. We'll have a better chance of success. 
Let's see if we can't solve the brother's case and the sister's case at the same time. Yeah, but I, like, get a reward for my case. I don't really care about your free case. Wait for us in the open space. Where we're going is no place for kids. Thanks. I just hope you can pull it off. Leave it to us. All right, then. Ryuji is with us now. That's cool. I do like that in this game, in the first Cyber Sleuth, it was a rarity for you to have a comrade with you in the game. It barely happened. Or maybe I just don't remember it very much. I don't remember it happening very often. In this game, it's about 50-50. Like, half the time you're with someone, half the time you're not. And I kind of like that. Although, most of the time it is Ryuji. I wish it would switch up a little bit in that respect, but it's still good. I like it. I don't like how Ryuji just uses attack break field and attack charge field when it's completely unnecessary, though. I would appreciate it if his AI was a little more intelligent. His Yaruman is not too far away from finally being able... He's only like 6 SP away from being able to use his signature twice in a fight. Did I look at what his Yaruman needs to digivolve? I don't think I did. Do I need to be degenerating him soon? I can't remember. What are the odds that the Dinosaurus is in this dead end over here? Let's find out. Dun, 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 dun. Easy kills. Desolation Claws, some serious overkill, but at least you didn't use Attack Breakfield for no reason. Bada bum 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 bum. Where, oh, where is this hacker? He's not in this dead end. It looks like he's in the very back area. Like, I can't even see him here. So we've got a bit of walking. Oh, acceleration. Dude, I always forget about these hacker skills. And honestly, I blame the first game for it because, like, when I play Cyber Sleuth, it's just, like, second, second nature, kind of, to just, you know, walk around and do stuff in it because it's so similar to the first Cyber Sleuth. In the first Cyber Sleuth, you had, like, nothing other than no the no encounter ability and the increased encounter ability. Other than those, you only had abilities that had to do with, like, there's something in your way affected. So having all of these extra quality of life abilities are, like, I'm not used to it, and so I forget about them because I don't expect them to exist. But I'm so glad that they do. Like, honestly, acceleration is about the greatest thing they've ever invented for the Cyber Sleuth franchise as far as I'm concerned. This is wonderful. Being able to move this fast. It's not you, is it? Like, the, the hacker I need should have a message over it. Like, the little question, or not question mark, the exclamation mark over his head. I'm beat. The Kowloon Invasion is going to last a long time. You better heal your injured Digimon. I will. Don't worry. We all good. Oh, no. A Lalamon. However, will I make it through? We have to have a serious talk with Ryuji about his incapability to be smart. It's starting to, like, become a serious problem, I feel like. The Dinosaurus guy I want should be back here. Yeah, there he is, at the very end of the area. What's up, dude? Ah, Ryuji, what are you doing here? What kind of greeting is that? Can't I drop in on an old friend? You only ever come to see me when you've got some crazy request. Yeah, it sounds like Ryuji. Don't be like that. I'm the one who kept you from going to prison, remember? Whoa! I'd say you owe me a favor or two. Yeah, that's pretty... That's like, that's what you always say. If he stopped you from going to prison, I think, like, he's in an okay place to say that you owe him a favor, like, any time he sees you, to be honest. That's a pretty big thing for him to have done. So, what is it this time? I want your tickets for the Eden Upgrade preview. You must be kidding. They're almost impossible to find. Did you have any idea how long it took me to get them? There's no way I'd even sell them, let alone just give them away, not even to you. In that case, how about a wager? A wager? This is our new hacker. Do battle with him. If he wins, you give us the tickets. If you win, I'll take as many cases as you want for free. You serious? My own personal errand boy. I like the sound of that. Oh, this is perfect. I never lose. What if you lose? Well, ne well, you'll never win with that negative attitude. Yeah, that's fair. If you lose, you're out of Huddy. I'll get wrecked. You're gonna regret this. I'm one of the best on the team. If you want to blame anyone, blame your leader over there. I'm, I'm gonna win. I should have saved the game before this, but I am gonna win. Yeah, you've only got a rookie and two champions. This is fine. Probably. Yeah, we're fine. Hopefully. Not an acceleration boost. It's actually a little dangerous. I need to try and take him out immediately. Actually, his Yaruman's attack is, like, OP. I'm glad you used the healing move, like, turn one when you were not damaged. Oh, they're all viruses. That's a little... 
Yeah, that kind of sucks because I happen to have two data. Get some extra damage on him. I'm going to take him out first. How much does this do to you? Yeah, that's pretty good. You actually took it way better than I thought you would, unfortunately. I need to use Darugamon's turns to give his Yarumon more... Oh, this is going to hurt. We might be in a worse spot than I realized. Yeah. Yeah. This might be a little more difficult than I originally thought. He's not going to do as much the... the oh, what is your name? I can't remember your name. The, like, messed up Greymon. What are you called? I cannot remember for the life of me. Oh, I really hate that you have a counter set up now. That's actually, like, so bad that I think I don't attack him again. I think I focus on... Get the Gazimon should die easy. Kill the Gazimon. We can still win this, it's just going to be more tedious than I originally thought. It's going to be a lot of... Like, there's no point in reviving Darugamon because we're up against so many uh, viruses. The fact that he has acceleration boost is actually a little terrifying. And is the biggest problem here. But, like, we use Groundramon for healing and SP and stuff, and then Hisyarumon just kills everything. Is basically how we win this. I wish I... Uh, this is why I really wish that we had more party memory, because I wish I could bring in another Vaxxin. If I had, like, Mega Kabuterimon here, we'd be in a great spot. I'm pretty sure Groundramon can live any hit and then heal himself next turn. I don't want to miss out on a chance to use Legendary Dragon Blade. Because I need to, like, just keep hitting him. I need this Gazimon to die. He... Okay, I might lose. I really did not think the Ground Dramon would get o code. This is actually really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked out of Huddy. Worse than getting kicked out of Huddy, I'm gonna have to redo something. I'm gonna have to like go back. I have one revival capsule. Okay. Use an HP spray above all else. We just need to be at good HP. I need to always be, like, over 500 HP, I guess, is what I need. Don't crit me. This is enough HP for me to feel comfortable, especially because uh, Groundramon gets another move. I'm comfortable giving his Yaramon some SP here instead of using normal heal. And actually, I should just, like, use something weak, like... Something that always hits like this to just take out the Gazimon. Not even... There's no... It would be way too overkill to use Legendary Dragon Blade on the Gazimon there. And I'm never going to attack with Groundramon. Groundramon is, like, always going to be attacking. I am going to use an HP spray here again. Because I'm really worried about taking a big amount of damage suddenly. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think we're good now. I think we're good now. I've worked it out. Kill you. You have to go. I should really look at your name, because I cannot remember it. I know this Digimon, I just cannot remember what his name is. For the life of me. This normally never happens to me. But whatever. This is a turn that I hate to have to use SPB capsules, but I will. It's something Drummon, isn't it? It's like a word, and then DRA, and then Mon. No, it's Cyclone Mon. Why can I not remember Cyclone Mon? Why is your name Cyclone Mon is a better uh, question. You're like a failed Greymon or something, aren't you? Why does your name have nothing to do with Greymon? But now we can actually just start attacking. Because the only real threat is gone, thankfully. I should have given his Yarumon more SP, though. That was a mistake. Heavy Strike 2. We don't even... I could just not even... I don't really need to use... Legendary Dragon Blade to win this fight now, but it'll go so much faster if I do. It's actually worth it. Oh no, his intelligence has been raised. Whatever will I do? He might die, or at least get really low from Legendary Dragon Blade here. Yep. He's as good as dead. Alright, I was a little worried for a second. Thank goodness we had that one revival capsule. We've done it. Ooh, that was close. Unfortunately, Darugamon is going to get no experience, but some things can't be helped. 
Oh, Lakismon is ready to digivolve. I should probably let Lakismon level up one extra so that she gets, like, that one extra Abby point. I might do that. No, I lost! Dang, you're strong. Now that I think about it, you're Ryuji's protege. I should have known you were something special. I can't believe I fell for that. Yeah, you're a dummy. We won, fair and square. You know what to do. Fine, take him, you thief. You call me what you want. I'm the one that's getting paid. <laughs> what? Did you hire them to get a ticket? Yeah, I got two tickets, so I don't want to see any more tears from you. Okay, thanks. You're the best. I actually wanted to go to the preview with you all along. And thanks, you two. Now we can go to the preview. Yay. Let's go. I need to go home and decide what to wear. Uh, you need to give me that toy so I can get brownie points with Erica is what you need to do. Hey, wait up. Calm down. Case complete. Indeed. Huh? What was my payment? Don't laugh. But was a digi- But was. Was a Digimon medal and a plastic model. Uh, I'm about the same. You two? <laughs> Those two are so alike. I know the payment was nowhere near enough for all our hard work. But it's good to do stuff like this sometimes. Yeah, I agree. I don't mind taking a case that's not really worth it every now and then. Oh, welcome back. Good work with the case. Thanks, I heard you helped. That girl was so happy to get a ticket. I just did it for the payment. She left a comment saying she'll bring Wooper later. I can't wait. By the way, I poured you some juice. What have you been putting in that juice? What's with the face? Can't I reward you after a hard day's work? I'm getting Wooper thanks to you. Here, you have some too. Thanks, Erica. Yeah, you drink it first, Ryuji. No, it's nothing. It's not often I see Erica pour a drink for someone. Drink up. You drink first, Ryuji. No, Rogue, you fool. It's so sweet. It's nice, but so sweet. Too sweet. It's like the inside of my mouth has been coated with syrup. Is this even safe to drink? Ouch. Why am I... I suddenly felt an excruciating pain in every single one of my teeth. Oh, no. Could it be so sweet that it instantly gave me cavities in all of my teeth? What? No, I was so proud of not having a single cavity. I... I don't want cavities. No! Foolish fool. Hey, snap out of it. It looks like the sweetness made me pass out. What? How rude do you have to be to collapse after drinking juice that someone made for you? That's right, I made it. Don't look so surprised. I've been known to do thoughtful things from time to time. It was sweet, right? She has an unusually sweet tooth. The juice they sell is never sweet enough. That's why I always make my own in the cafe's drink corner. I put lots of glucose in it. Glucose. Glucose is the only fuel the brain can use. I know it's very sweet, but it's good once you get used to it. How about another glass? Nah, I think I'm good. You don't have to look that disgusted. It may be a little too sweet, but I always try to get the flavor to balance just right. My brother always enjoys it. See, he finished the whole glass in one go. Oh, I see. Ryuji just downs it to get over it. I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings. I'm your big brother after all. Ryuji. Yeah, I'll hurt her feelings though. Like, I'm not I'm not drinking your sweet juice. That was Oh my good, never take that out of context. That didn't happen. I need I may even need to like edit that out. Seeing Erica smile, Ryuji looks so happy and proud. But his knees were shaking like crazy. Yep. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I said that. I've been on the internet long enough to not make mistakes like that. There you go. That's done. Save? Oh no. Am I about to go through a ton of cutscenes or something? I should start keeping two save files. I really should. It's just in my own best interest. It says I'm in the Demon's Den in Chapter 6. Did we just finish Chapter 5 and have now moved to Chapter 6 and that's why the game prompted me to save? I'm guessing. That's cool. That's fine. 